my professional journey started about 20 years ago when I uh, saw a bubble rising in water. And this happened on a screen and a computer program made it possible. And I was fascinated at that time that governing equations, simple uh, equations along with uh, the right material properties can bring nature to life. They contain solutions to the phenomena that we see around us. 20 years on, I am a modeling engineer and I work in the semiconductor industry. Here we try to uh, build models that can provide guidance to process and design of tools. Working in this space uh, for uh, uh, several years, it has uh, brought me some insights which I believe are fairly simple but also applicable to uh, my day-to-day -day life. The first lesson I learned is that uh, we always have incomplete information, but we have to start somewhere. And we have to start with uh, what we know and make assumptions about what we don't know, but we have to be mindful of, uh, of the assumptions we make. The second thing I noticed is that what we build the first time is never going to be perfect. It needs uh, improvements, it needs a revision of uh, the assumptions that we make, and it uh, needs a careful uh, evaluation of uh, the methods we employ to, to, to solve a problem. And there is a greater chance of uh, success when failure is uh, followed by a re-examination of the, the assumptions we make of what we think we know. The third lesson in modeling, it falls at the intersection of uh, several uh, disciplines and there has always been a need to bring together people who are deeply experienced in uh, their uh, domain uh, and they come with their own parlance. There's a need to bring these people together to actually understand the problem or the challenge from uh, several points of view. And uh, only with this uh, well-rounded understanding can one even try to build a, a, a simple model of uh, what actually might be happening in uh, reality. The fourth thing has been the need to communicate one's learnings to a group of people who are experts in, in what they do, but uh, who necessarily don't uh, understand uh, what you do. And the lack of uh, communication can actually uh, slow down your uh, progress. And the fifth and the final thing I've uh, realized is that if a model does exactly what you expect it to do, and tells you exactly the things that you want to hear just at the first go, you need to abandon it. Because if it's too good to be true, then it is. And I've, I've learned that uh, even in uh, real life, uh, the, the, the real progress comes from iterative improvement and uh, diligent work and attention to detail. And in the absence of uh, this process, if there is an outcome that seems absolutely fantastic, then you have to see it with a degree of suspicion. <laughs>